everybody. Today, Supreme Decisions is not going to have a sponsor for this one because I'm out here traveling and I want to answer a couple questions that I was asked while out. And this one came from someone that I actually met in the lobby probably a couple hours ago. And I want to go over this real quick because it was something that they brought up to me that I had an answer for. But here's why that answer is. And today is about what is a preliminary hearing and when is it held? Okay, basically before you have any trial, there is a preliminary hearing. And the preliminary hearing is held for the prosecutor to show that they have enough probable cause to go forward on any criminal accusation or even in some cases, civil trials. So basically at that instance is where they show the judge, hey, this is what our case is. This is what we're prosecuting. This is why. The downside to that is going into this, you have to know prosecutors win 99% of these hearings. Not really something that goes back to actual proof because we know this system is not about proof. It's about revenue and it's guilty before proven innocent. So how do you get in the 1%? The first part of this is during this hearing, you have to destroy the probable cause. The easy is the seven step process. The first is you challenge how it was gathered. Now, generally, this is done with um, searches and also seizures. How was the stop made? Who gathered it? You also attack the chain of custody. Now, here's the great part of it. How was it even established that it was a crime or a crime had been committed? And in a civil case, it'll be how was the contract breached? How was this damaged in this instance? What was the cause of such damage? And in some cases of a criminal trial, you want to examine the warrant itself. You also want to do check the warrant application. The reason you check these is because you want to find out not only what's in there, you want to find out what's not in there. This is why we go through all of these little simple things, is to understand what their procedures are. What has to be present prior to a stop? There has to be some type of criminal activity prior to the stop. Probable cause only comes from a crime. So if they have probable cause, it had to have been a crime. So these are the things that we challenge. And lastly, for me, I wanted to find out who was the judge that signed off on the warrant. The reason you want that is because now they are civilly liable if the warrant application is not complete, as well as they are a witness to any corruption that goes beyond their signature. These things are also important because one thing everybody will do in this instance is cover their own ass. There is a blue wall. Let's not even act like that does not exist. But when it comes to being sued civilly in your personal capacity, nobody is going to look out for anybody else. Allow them that opportunity to cover their ass so you can get the person that is really trying to dig in your pockets. The remedy is dig in theirs. But these are the things that you would need to do. Examine how the probable cause was gathered. Go after who gathered it. Work on the chain of custody. Establish how it was a crime or was a breach. You want in criminal trials, you want the warrant as well as the warrant application. And lastly, you want the judge's signature that signed off on the warrant. These are little simple things. Now, does this automatically prove that you're not going to go to trial? You're not going to have them win in that 99%? No, it's still a chance that you will lose this because again, it's about revenue generation. 
But what this does, it allows a basis for appeal, which then allows the basis for a federal lawsuit. Because this also goes under prosecutorial misconduct. These become willful acts, which relieve them of their qualified immunity. That's why I do these things in the manner in which I do them. Because a lot of stuff that I say is become repetition now. Because we're a hundred and some videos in, and it's now kind of coming together to where you're able to understand it better. So be on the lookout. Podcasts are dropping. More videos are coming more regularly. And I'm going to do more live shows. So just be on the lookout. Hit the bell notification. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave comments. Let me know anything that you're thinking about. Possible shows that we could do. As well as, tell me how your boy looks with the new image. So, Supreme Decisions, how to win your preliminary hearing. Next. <laughs>